unfortunate incident on the boss. Uh, light and stop, please. Um, basically, what happened was my the back of my radiator has a pinhole leak, so I'm losing coolant. It's getting shot all over my motor. Uh, looked it up the part. Uh, luckily for me, the boss has a boss specific radiator, so yay, that part costs more than your uh, standard GT radiator. Uh, but it is what it is. It's there for a reason. So we're gonna we're gonna pick one up eventually. Uh, the other problem was while moving the stock air tube to get to the radiator, I was trying to unbuckle my sound tube, which I don't know why I haven't deleted yet. And as you can see, I ripped off the connector itself. Uh, the thing was unbuckled, but it had been attached for so long that the plastic part of the connector because I'm guessing it was attached after the fact uh, to the ABS plastic that it just snapped right off so uh, yep now I have a gaping hole in the connector I was gonna try and do some cement but I didn't want to risk any of that stuff breaking loose and getting sucked in the motor so we're just gonna replace it uh, luckily I found a guy on Facebook who's being pretty awesome about it he uh, has a has one lying around and basically told me if I pay for shipping he'll send it to me so Yay, that's a win, uh, but I still got to buy the new radiator, um, so we'll probably get cracking on that here. Uh, today I'm going to start disassembling the car, and uh, or disassembling the radiator. Uh, the coolant in there is like brand new because I just uh, replaced the condenser, so that kind of sucks, but uh, it is what it is. So we're, uh, we're going to get cracking, and I'll uh, keep you guys updated. Right, guys, so the first step is going to be remove remove all the covers. So I went ahead and took off the top radiator cover. Uh, there's a couple of push pins. You just got to pop the pin then pull it out so you don't break them. Uh, and eventually I'm going to need to move the, the sound tube. And like I showed you before, I ripped it off. And there it is. It's kind of still stuck in there. So I'm going to get a delete. And I'm going to delete that for when I get the new tube from the guy. Um, so the other thing you got to do is remove, I don't know if you can see it down here, the splash guards. So there's going to be a bunch of... Uh, little screws all the way around that you're gonna have to take down and then you'll be able to come and drain the coolant and so we'll do that next uh, this coolant's really new so it kind of stinks that I'm getting rid of it but now you gotta do what we gotta do so we'll get that going and uh, we'll see you guys in a second so loosen the, loosen the uh, drainage of little valve and that's uh, making a mess this little drain pan is not big enough to catch it because it's splashing all over my floor so I'm going to wipe this up so my dog doesn't come in here and lick it I'm going to wait for it to finish draining and we'll take care of that but uh, yep first we're going to empty the radiator then we're going to start unconnecting a bunch of hoses and uh, start disassembling this thing so first we're going to remove this overflow outlet hose that goes to the radiator so we disattached the uh, coolant overflow hose and I also took the tank off the fan shroud we're gonna want that out of the way so I wrapped a bungee around it and I pinned it to the uh, strut brace uh, next I believe we're gonna want to start disassembling the fan but I'll all right actually so next we're gonna remove the upper and lower radiator hoses so I'm gonna get this one it's the same kind of clamp just bigger uh, so just pinch it pull the hose uh, and the bottom one will probably get some spillage so I'll get to work on all right, guys, so I got a little carried away trying to knock out some steps. Uh, basically, what happened is so we disconnected the upper and lower radiator hose. Next thing you have to do is unbolt the condenser. There's four bolts uh, at the top. There's two at the top, two at the bottom. You unbolt those uh, so the condenser's free hanging from the radiator. And then you have to unplug the radiator fan, which is a it's really a pain, but uh, I got it with a really small flathead. Push it down the clip, and it slid off. Um, so that's off. We pulled the radiator. I now have it sitting over there. Uh, next step is going to be to unbolt the fan and inspect and figure out where the hole is and see if maybe this thing can be salvaged. I'd like to hang on to it because it's a $600 radiator from Ford Racing, and then I'm going to uh, see if I can get it welded, but I'm also going to order a new one. I'll just keep this one as a ready spare somewhere in the garage. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing unbolted and uh, see you guys. Well guys, there's where my radiator uh, fan leak was, our leak was. Um, thought maybe when I did my condenser swap, I might have caused that damage, but obviously I didn't. Looks like it's an internal problem. 
Uh, so we're just gonna replace it. And I don't know if this can be salvaged, but I'm gonna have, have, a, have a guy look at it and we'll find out. All right, guys. So I uh, I got a little carried away. Uh, I had a pretty pretty big series of a bad few weeks. Um, it's basically with a radiator. I ordered a Ford Performance Boss 302 radiator from American Muscle. Uh, they sent it to me, and they're always great. Usually, they get great shipping. Got it here within two days. As soon as I opened it up, there was first of all there was a hole in the side of the box, and I was ah, it's just on the plastic frame, so it's probably fine. Plastic frame was fine, but when I opened the box. Uh, the radiator was destroyed. There was fins that were crushed. There was lines drawn in it with fins ripped out, and I didn't know if it would cause a leak. And I'll show, post a picture here. And so I sent the radiator back to American Muscle, and I was told, and in the process of when I called them initially, they're like, "Oh yeah, we'll expedite you out another one even quicker." I'm like, "Oh great, two days is already fast, but great." Um, so when I actually got my return paperwork, I sent it back and I called them, let them know, Hey, it's on its way and to verify that they'd be sending me one out pretty quickly. Well, when I called them, I get a kind of a shoulder shrug from the next person I talked to. They're like, Oh yeah, the next one, we're out of stock. It'll be here in two to three weeks. I'm like, I was told that initially I'll get one expedited. So I was pretty upset about that. So I went back and forth. I did some research, uh, I didn't want to go, I was. I got a good deal, that's why I got it from American Muscle for the Buster 2. Um, I didn't want to spend the same amount of money, I didn't want to spend that much money at this time. Uh, I don't track the car yet, but I do want something that can handle the cooling. So I went up with a Mishimoto, it actually looks really good, I was surprised. The welds are super clean, I've already installed it, um, I kind of forgot to record the installation process, but it's just the reverse of taking it out. Um, I was I was just frustrated, so when it showed up, I just installed it. So, just got it in. I'm gonna do my uh, my cold start now and uh, get the, get it running through the system. And check for leaks. All right, here we go. Alright, outstanding. Uh, so it's in. Uh, big thanks to Paul. Uh, you are, if you're watching, you know who you are. Uh, I actually broke my sound tube. I broke my sound tube uh, right here at the coupling. Uh, right, not my sound tube, my air tube, right where the sound tube connects. I broke it right at the coupling. It just snapped off and it was, uh, it was unusable. So he actually sent me a brand new one. Uh, just said, pay it forward. He's a great guy. I uh, can't thank him enough. I was up a creek, I was about to buy a new intake, I really didn't want to at this time. I like my Roush intake, I just like the stock-ish look. Um, but, yep, now the car's running, it appears to be fine, I don't think I got any leaks. Uh, let's see. Yep, no leaks, so I think I'm, uh, I'm golden. <laughs> 